Okay, so I connected uh, Amazon Luna controller and am using a Amazon Cube with Amazon Luna controller. So how does this work? Well, first of all, you need a Amazon Luna application to be downloaded on your Fire TV or your Cube Fire TV. And then you install your Amazon Luna app. Now, the next thing is your controller. Controller is detected through your application. This is exactly what I mean. Your application on your phone, you need to download. And it's called Amazon Luna controller application. You have to make sure that your controller right over here it's connected to the same Wi-Fi connection that your Amazon Fire TV it's connected to so that way your Amazon Luna application running from Amazon Cube Fire TV or a Fire TV stick can be connected to that server and that server that this controller it's connected to will give you the best possible lower latency as you can see right here clearly we're gonna start one game let's start um, well let's go with uh, Resident Evil 7. I'm going to go to Resident Evil 7. Click on it. Now, before we continue, I just want to make sure that everybody understands that Dolby Vision can be override. So, therefore, you can override Dolby Vision on your Amazon Fire TV Cube. So, basically, your Luna... It's going to have compressed override Dolby Vision. And it should look better than not having a Dolby Vision processed. All right, so let's start the game. I'm going to click play now. Oh, system update is required. Okay, that's fine. We'll come back to that. So now that we have everything updated, we're going to go ahead and click on Luna. There it is. And uh, we're going to continue where we left off. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, start playing Resident Evil. Click on it. I'm going to click right now, and uh, let's see. All right, there's the Capcom. All right, I got to say, this looks really good. Let me adjust my um, exposure. Um, let me adjust my exposure a little bit more, just so you guys can see it better. Let's start the game. Continue. Remember, this is Dolby Vision being uh, override and compressed. So we'll see. There it is right there. You can see that it's Dolby Vision right over here. Let's see the um, 
how the latency is. Seems like I'm having some issues with the internet a little bit, but uh, that's probably because I'm using uh, Dolby Vision. I gotta say this looks really nice in Dolby Vision um, let's uh go this way where there's more light let's see how some other games look in Dolby Vision really quick let's see how Watch Dogs Legion looks with uh, Dolby Vision being override And there it is, actually. It looks quite nice. Not bad. Um, let's go over here. Let me jump into this truck. Let me turn that music down. Uh, this is actually very nice with a Dolby Vision. Let me see. Yeah, Dolby Vision override looks pretty good actually. Latency, I swear to God, latency it's about the same as you would get on Stadia and uh, your console. <laughs> it's it's about the same, 19 milliseconds. That's because we are connected through Wi-Fi. Uh, this control is connected through Wi-Fi. Let me exit this. And uh, let me check. The bus. Okay. Oh my lord, this is a nightmare. <laughs> Not bad, man. Uh, the fact that you can use a Dolby Vision override uh, on this game, it's pretty awesome that you can do that. And I have to admit, it really looks good. Uh, the colors are very vibrant, the contrast is very vibrant, and um, there's a nice warmth to the color as well. This is just the beginning uh, for Amazon Luna. Obviously, there's going to be more things being implemented here. But from what I have seen here, it's pretty darn good. Uh, as you can see, 
Here you can check your uh, microphone, the volume on, uh, on the headset. Uh, you can exit the game. So you press that button right here. And uh, exiting the game, it's very easy. So my first impressions are not bad, really not bad. Uh, I like what I'm seeing here with um, with Amazon Luna and Fire TV. Uh, I can really see Amazon and Google Stadia going head to head in the future, but it's still early to tell. You know, this is just my first impressions. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys soon.